So somebody asked me in WebAssign how to do these kind of problems. Um, they didn't understand the formula. And granted, the formula is kind of kind of complicated. It looks looks miserable. Um, if you want to work through it, you certainly can. I encourage you to investigate some of these applets. I mean, your graph and calculator will do it if you have that. Spreadsheets will do it. Um, but even easier is some of these online applets. And so if you go into Moodle, I have this applet collection link here right in week zero. And it takes me, takes you out to my Oxwell High School webpage. They've got set up for statistics. They do the same kind of thing. And I'm going to point you to two applets for this. Um, for this work, uh, you can do, uh, let's see, where are we? Binomial probability histogram. This is probably not the most useful applet, but it'll give us a nice picture of what's going on. Um, so for question A, they're asking me to find the probability of getting a, uh, exactly six out of 10 if the probability of a success is 0.8. So what does that look like? Well, if we have 10 items uh, that we're going to choose from, and the probability of picking the one is Point eight, um, this applet will actually graph us, uh, put a histogram up for us. And as you notice, I mean, you really can't even see uh, what's the probability of exactly zero. That, and that's what these bars are that show. showing. That's the probability of getting exactly eight out of the 10 if that is the, if point eight is the probability of success. So that's exactly eight. Now, this problem is asking us for six. So that's actually the answer, if you look in the back of the book, or if this was a web assign question, that's what they're looking for. And of course, you'd have to round web assign. Okay, so that's what we get a, it's a skewed distribution. One thing to note is we've only got 10 items. Um, as we get to more and more, more and more items, this distribution begins to look symmetric and not left skewed, or it can also look right skewed, uh, but that's not gonna get us, get this question answered, so I don't want to, go away from there. Um, now, let's see, n equals six. There we go, or x equals six. So that's the answer to that problem, the 0.08808. I'll show you another applet here in a second. Um, but then the other thing that happens is like part C and part D where they have inequalities. This is asking me, so part C is asking me to find the sum of four or less. So let, let me jump down there and, and we'll set that one up because B is the same as what we just did. So if it's 15 items, the probability of a success is 0 0.2. Okay, so here now we're looking, see how that sample size or N got larger? Um, that distribution doesn't look quite so skewed. It is right skewed, and notice with the smaller probability, it turns right skewed. Um, so this is asking me, what part C is asking me, what is the probability I'm gonna get less than four? Well. That's gonna be zero, plus the probability of getting one, plus the probability of getting two, plus the probability of getting three. And if you were gonna do this with a formula, you'd have to use this formula to calculate those four probabilities. Notice I'm not including four because not an equal to. So it's, an, it's a, it's a uh, exclusive kind of probability. Now, the trouble with this applet for doing that if I had typed in four, that would give me exactly four. And if I want to go less than four, see how that includes four? And, and this, this probability is not including four because it isn't, it's equal to four, just less than four. So if you're going to use this applet and or your graphing calculator even, I mean, you got to make sure you count. Well, see, now we're only adding up those, those four from zero, one, two, three, and uh, zero, one, two, three. Those are those probability, the sum of those probabilities. So that's that's the limitation of this calculator. You kind of got to uh, think about what you're doing a little bit more. Um, and the graph is nice. I think I think being able to see these discrete uh, probability distributions. Uh, notice how there is bars. Like I can't get zero point five people or one point five items. You know, it's discrete. It's only those so many. Those solutions there, and that's what makes this a discrete probability distribution. So what's a more useful applet? Um, so if you come back here, and you see this binomial probability calculator link? When I said back here, that's that DLMA applet, or DLMA page, DLMA.net uh, page. So here, what this applet does is, this will work very similar, 
um, will actually let me, we'll do all four of these with this, with this applet here. So for the first one, was we already know that answer was about like 0 0.08 something. So we know the probability of success in a single trial for A is 0.8. Maybe I should zoom in a little bit just in case this is not showing up too well here. So 0 0.8. And then uh, n is six, n is ten. I'm looking for eight, uh, six. It says point eight. N is ten. X is six. And then we're going to calculate. There's a little button over here. You get to update every time you change something. Notice this here. Let me get a pointer going. So this is that prop. This is the answer. Notice that's the same as what the what the histogram app gave us. That's the answer to part A. That's the one we want. If we were looking for less than six, that would include the six bar. This that would include zero through five. Uh, this would include the six bar. Notice the equal to. This is greater than six, so that would include the seven, eight, nine, and ten bar. And greater than if or equal to six would include the six bar, seven bar, eight bar, nine bar, ten bar. Okay, because there's ten trials. Okay, so that's there. Let's do this next one. The probability, uh, let's see, the probability of success is 0 0.8 again. Uh, there are 17 items now. I'm looking for the probability of getting exactly 15 of them. And exactly 15 is this line right here. Now the next one, we're looking for less than four. If there's 15 items and the probability of success is 0 0.2. And let's see, I'm looking for four or less than four. So I'm gonna use four. And this is the line that I want because that doesn't include the four. That just includes the zero, one, two, and three bar. Okay. Then for part D, let's see. The probability of success is 0.4. There are eight trials, and we want to know two or better. And since I want two or better, I want this cumulative probability. On your graphing calculator, if you're using one, uh, the equal to is the uh, binomial PDF option. And the less thans or greater thans are, well, actually the less than the calculator, what the calculator does, the binomial CDF would give us this. And then you'd have to, you'd have to think, you know, get creative on how to, how to do the greater than or, or, or the exclusive one. Okay, I encourage you to just check out this app. It, it makes it very easy. Uh, the formula is slick, but it's really not necessary because if you notice in the direction, it does say use calculator or software or, or a formula if you want. Okay, well, hopefully, this helps you answer these questions.